She said, don't call her black, babe. Don't call her black? She said she's not a black alternative artist. Don't call her that. Nigga, you're black. What do you mean? What do you want me to call you? Well, we post it every Friday. Every Friday. See them corner motors and you know why. I'm a Jada Gemini to the day I die. And I'm going to talk my shit, but I don't play both sides. So nah. I got you. Man, y'all are not going to like what I got to say about this. <laughs> Did they ever, though? <laughs> What's up, y'all? Uh, it's your favorite YouTube couple back at it once again. Back again. You never like this shit, but uh, <laughs> like it. Please like the video. Um, If you guys do not know who Baby Stormy is, bro, I'm just going to tell you off rip. If you do know, this is probably going to be an unpopular opinion. I feel like Baby Stormy is a clout demon, bro. I don't <laughs> believe anything this person say, bro. I don't believe anything this person say. I've seen the receipts, I've seen the text, all that stuff. I've dealt with people like this, bro. Those receipts could be fake. Like, I don't you know. You think she would go to those great lengths to fake Daniel, it? Daniel, yes. This is a very social media person. They always do stunts. No, like, I was um, in the midst of trying to, uh, that's why I, when you were like, just get it done, I, I get it. Because with this one right here, I don't like this. Like, yeah. the more and more I kept looking, I'm like, nah, bruh. I just feel like she just starting stuff to go viral. <laughs> and because it's about Nikki and Ice Spice, people are very quick to jump. Like, because it's divisive. And I'm not a barb. I'm just keeping it a freaking bean. She's like this the Aaliyah is some clout version of the girl, uh, the bruh. dude that was running around L.A. saying fuck everybody hood. Bruh. And then ended up getting, uh, yeah. Something she like always... So someone in the chat said, explain it like a five-year-old. And then I'm, I'm going to show y'all all the stuff. So basically, this person, Baby Stormy, is one of those people who lives in um, like a, a popping area. L.A., NYC, Miami. I'm not sure. You know, like when you live in a popping area, you could get into certain shows. You can meet certain people a little bit easier, network a little bit easier. Especially if you got She brushes followers. shoulders with a lot of people, takes pictures with people. I'm not saying she's never met ice spice i'm not saying that i just don't think i just i personally don't believe what she's alluding so her past controversies she did a flash mob at target during the pandemic and then tried to cry victim and racism during like like george for all like girl what are george you doing? floyd but that this is like the time period of all this don't stuff bring going the on, right? tapes into this bro Please don't do that. Then she does a music video in a graveyard, dancing on actual people's graves. That yeah, made a lot of people I, upset. That's what I was talking about when I found the gift. I'm like, so, yeah. And then I started digging. I'm like, bro, what you doing, bro? That's what people what do here do when they're being that? real disrespectful. Yeah, you don't do that. Like that's, that's real disrespectful. That means that's a, the equivalent to say you smoking on so and so pack. That's you what up I'm here saying, dancing bro. on someone's grave is crazy. She making drill, bruh. Right? Like, this is your op. What is going on? Okay. Um, What happened after that? She did... Oh, this is the worst of them all. She does a, a video about, like, genocide or something. What's it called? It's called Why? Talking about it's a PSA. And um, all of the proceeds are going to go to anyone experiencing genocide. So, Palestine, uh, Sudan. And I'm just like, are you freaking for real? Are you freaking for real? That shit based. Then so based. um, she had another thing where she accused uh, Chase Bank of stealing a check her daddy gave her. Like, a whole bunch of stuff. Now that, that could happen. You know, right. Niggas so with that being said, I want to just say two things could be right at once. Yes, I do think she did run into Ice Spice. But me personally, I just don't believe that those texts are legitimate. And... Recently, she has been saying crazy things online, talking about how the president is going to get unalive because we still early in the like stream. That, boy. Um, she's been talking about the end times and telling everyone to quit their jobs. And just she's been just saying some very unhinged stuff. I don't know, bro. Yeah. And then when you are going through because um, people are trying to put psychosis on her. I'm not a therapist. I'm not going to do that. But when you do have delusions, if you get confirmation, they're going to keep going. This is the first time she's gotten confirmation. She's been talking about the end times, all this stuff. Nobody's bitten. She's talking about uh, building a commune. Everybody quit your jobs. Nobody bit. Now she's talking about, guys, I'm going to spill the tea on Ice Spice. 
everybody bit. Oh, okay. It's confirming. Okay. I got text messages. Yeah. Nikki is delusional. Ha ha ha. And it's like two things can be right at the same time. But girl, you're tripping. Someone need to take your phone. It's been too long. Someone need to take your phone. This ain't doing it no more. It's the frequency for me. Yeah, it's too much. Because I ain't going to hold you. That type of shit where it's like, hey, man, I'm going to try to do anything. Oh, that ain't work. Right. We're going to try this. Uh, we're gonna try. everybody knows somebody like that bro you got to be aware of that person because they're just the opportunist bro i mean for better or for worse you know sometimes mm-hmm. it's a very beneficial thing to have you know somebody that's really on it like that but if they go rogue got um evil stormy over here <laughs> right evil stormy coming to a theater near you nigga i don't know like dancing in the graveyard on your mama nigga. so do you think what do you think she wants from this? Clout, nigga. She I wants get it, attention. but like, what? what? So, because I was even thinking she might have actually been friends with Ice Spice, bro. You lived in New York, but bro. I don't, you, I don't yeah, think you know? so. I'm calling Cap. I'm sorry. I'm calling like, Kaepernick. I'm calling Cap only because I could see her doing like a collab or taking a picture, like Word. something like that. But I just don't see an actual like. I don't know. I don't see it. Like an actual business relationship. I don't see it. Only like because of all the stunts and like all that stuff. It's it's just, I don't see it. Yeah, they don't have a very similar um, aesthetic there. Or group brand. that they hang out with. Or brand. Like, the only TikToker I've seen Ice Spice around is, um, she not a TikToker. I was about to say Pink Panthers. That's not even a TikToker. So yeah, I don't. I Spice ain't the type to be in the sh- uh the room with Kai Sinat and Aiden and all them like in 2024. You, you know, Aiden, like, I don't know, bruh. This is why you cannot. So, well, this is why you don't take pictures. Nah, for real, people. because look at look at what this turned into. Just nah, because they're in a picture together, and she was able to say that. And honestly, you talking about the text could be doctor. All you would need is two phones, bruh. Go look on my page. Go look up the Voodoo Child on YouTube right now. Go look at my live stream thumbnails. I make doctor text whenever I don't get receipts from my um uh submissions. It's like user oh, submitted Nadia. stories. She's on demon time. I'll doctor a text for a thumbnail just so it matches and people know like what we're going to be talking about. Demon it's time. so easy to doctor a text. You can even make it look like you're texting an Android. You're a social like, engineer. You know that? Bruh, I'm just saying, bro. It's very you easy to do. You old people out of billions. Bro, don't don't do that, y'all. That's I'm so evil. Saying. That's so evil, dude. Of course, you got to have a moral compass out here. No, for real. Like, honestly, that's kind of hot right now. If you're gonna do that, you don't want to do it here. She started re-uploading uh, her shit, by the way. Yeah, all them them wild. This videos is the Target so video. Oh, just because now she's gotten eyes on her now. No, she, she started like, re-uploading recently, like cool. within the past few months. All this stuff. This is the genocide video. Could be like better quality though. She might have got a This is her getting married to this man that needs to like help her and figure like what's going on now. Okay. Okay. But yeah, like she actually, this is the, um, Okay. and I remember when I saw this for the first time. And I was like, oh, okay, it's a black girl. She's alternative. That's what's up. And I was supporting her. I was like, okay, she's. this is what's up. But then the antics. I'm like, oh, wow, you're a clout demon. Blocked, blocked, blocked. But it's not even like Azalea Banks antics, though. It's like motherfucking, like, um, I'm trying to think of somebody that would be on this type of time. She, she'd be on that. You remember Kid Boo? Bruh. Is Baby she Stormy me Kid using Boo. genocide to propel her career? Now, the three sides to this story are going to be performative activism, is art activism, and what do creators owe us when they are platformed? So Baby Story disappeared Bruh. for months, comes Why back, have bags everything on off of her page, and yeah, those are posts potato this sacks. video, I feel like we, I but showed posting you this before, little though. snippets of this song. After posting two snippets of the song, which everybody did seem to enjoy, I like the you song. You know what this reminds I me of? Don't. I just Obama. don't like how she kind of danced. It's a mulatto. Party. But she came back with the third snippet of her song and said, Congo, Palestine, Sudan, this is for you. 
a lot of people began to call her out and she just was liking comments like this one here for the people in the comments complaining you complain if she didn't use her platform and now y'all complain when she does Ooh. i think the biggest issue with her claiming that this piece of art is to bring awareness to these issues is that there was no call to action um she didn't drop any links to support or provide any more information and her song directly was not at all about what's going on over there it had nothing to do with it her song was very much personal to her and i could prove that to y'all but it's personal to her and how she does not want to be seen as a black alternative artist she just wants to be seen as an alternative artist Hint oh my god that- not the raven simone girl you're a black artist what the fuck that's what I'm saying. I don't want to be known as a, a feminine woman artist. Like it's like, girl, you're a femme. Nigga, artist. you're not even known like that widely for there that. To you, even now be you're a starting problem. to see why I'm like doubting what is going on right now. It's like they're trying to jump the gun. And it's like, bro, 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 bro. No, no, no. You gotta wait. You gotta so get this a little creator bit that, scares bro. me, y'all. So please don't think. Play me the music. This is her as a target. We're gonna call the cops. We're becoming a safety hazard because you guys can all spread the freaking virus. Target is. It's not that um, <laughs> the virus. I think it's more or less like, bro, you don't got a permit. No, over here performing in the Target. Like nigga. It's a target, bro. And then she was like, guys, they wouldn't let me <laughs> go into the target, guys. And it's like, bro, why like, are you being so drama out? She's like one of them niggas that be smoking blunts in Walmart. You know, no, for real. And you why wonder what's I, going I, on. I didn't know this I was couldn't recent. do that. She deleted the video, but Donald Trump is going to be assassinated this year. She before recently did the this upcoming- last week. Baby Storm, you good? No. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. Who says stuff like that? This was her. Bruh. This was her when the thing happened at the Chase Bank. So tell me why I literally never experienced what I just experienced. I'm not the kind of person Wait, 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 wait. All right, Drake. Did you just say you never experienced racism before? I don't know what's going on. You're like fucking 30, nigga. What are you doing? Now she talking about she ain't never experienced the bank clock being racist towards her. I guess you're right. Yeah, I don't know. Nigga. What is this? God damn. Oh, this is her page. So let's talk oh, about She's not lucky. blocked on this page. Who are you? My never I have never experienced that. Like she talk, oh, this is somebody asking her why she did the music video on the graveyard. So let's talk about this because they're trying to cancel me for this and I have a lot to say. First of all, I do understand the point of what you guys are trying to say, that it does seem disrespectful to film in a graveyard. I do get that. But at the end of the day, why is it okay for Marvel, every film? It's not that it's disrespectful to film there. You just can't be dancing and jumping and cartwheeling over the grave portion. You're supposed to stand behind the tombstone or like a little bit in front of the, you know, like... What are you doing, bro? Are we are we playing Nigga, down right now? Are you dissing your ops? No, for real. Like you freaking crit walking on the gr- on Miss Mary, nigga. Like what are you what? doing, bro? Stop it, bro. Because <sighs> if it's a performative art piece, does Marvel be? Uh, I guess they do be blowing Michael Bay be blowing up uh cemeteries, but it's like, was that a real cemetery, bro? Bruh. That's a real no. cemetery that you're dancing on, bro. Just like that was a real target that you. Were- Out here, I want to hear her examples because you're <laughs> like, what? On, what dude. are you about to say? Because Marvel, what? Film every TV series ever to film in real graveyards, but I can't. It's not I about did post a video a few weeks ago asking you guys, positive. like, when they when they are, they're doing funerals, right? They're and they're not funerals. dancing on the grave. And the graves aren't real people. They have their own little plot and they dig up something and they do that. The problem, you couldn't even be like, see, why is it okay when Julio Fulio does it? And it's like, nigga, <laughs> nigga. That's a, you know, say that. Because it's performative art, right? Mm-hmm. That's how you feel. 
what you guys thought of that or if I should do it or not. And you guys were telling me like, no, you shouldn't. And I did agree at the time, but that was because I also did not know. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me listen to them. Let me get a set or whatever. But then I go to look for sets and newsflash, there are no sets of graveyards. And the only one that I found was trash and it was like a thousand dollars an hour. And what? Why didn't you pay the thousand oh, dollars? No, you should have paid that thousand dollars because what do you mean it was trash? It's a graveyard, bro. If you don't have no dead homies, or you're not what? smoking on nobody. No, seriously. Like, what Why are you doing, do you need... bro? She said there weren't any. Just kidding. There weren't any I liked. So I was gonna listen to y'all, but I said fuck it, bro. What? Just say you didn't care. That's said Marvel nerd here in the chat. They never filmed it a real car. <laughs> Bro, just say you didn't care. Just say you didn't care. Just, yeah. Remember when we were talking about um just be real how bro. Drake be trying to block songs from coming out. Yep. Acting like, you know what I'm saying? You know. Keep it a bean, bro. Beige. Just bro, real niggas don't care about that, bro. Yeah, let's just see say, what bro, she doing I did recently. not care, bro. I'm so sorry. I was putting my personal gain over the, hey guys, the moral so I know compass. a lot of you guys have questions after I posted that one video on Saturday night and I'm here to answer all your questions. Um, I know that I posted the video and I just kind of ghosted for so many days. Um, I already posted this on my Twitter and on my Instagram, oh, but I actually was. Um, she visited me the first night that I was staying. Um, after I posted that video on Monday morning, she showed up to my house and uh, she convinced my who mother, are we talking are we talking about ice spice because um, i'm about to be done with this so y'all because i'm not about to play um i already posted this on my twitter and on my instagram but i actually was in the hospital these past few days um as many of you guys know a lot of you guys may know my friend well my old friend this um girl her name is marley aka the glam goth um what? turns out she actually was never a friend of mine um after i posted that video on monday morning but I remember who the glam goth is because they had a situation with another YouTuber. But this is so random. I believe her actually talking to someone like that, I guess. Was she dancing in the funeral with her or in the graveyard with right. her? Right. Like, I can see that. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, T. Grizz? She showed up to my house and uh, she convinced my mother um to have me admitted into a psych ward against my will oh, God. um i was there for five days i was there monday tuesday wednesday thursday i just got home today this afternoon um while i was there i was drugged all right, all right, pause you just got this well. afternoon nigga, maybe you need nigga, to get off this the is your first internet. day out take her phone bro. no seriously where's your here, and bro, then you're the married P elephant in the room big big fat elephant in the room if my mom thought that I was, you know, and she got me admitted. You as my husband can go up there, and after 72 hours, I will be out of there, bro. Roger, how about this? 48 about, hours, excuse this, me. Like, bro, what? If you are admitted within the last goddamn year or so, I don't give a fuck what you got to say, bro. No disrespect. But, nigga, you are, like, questionable. Not the chat talking about he cheating. I hope not. That would be horrible. Nigga, he definitely would. What's the, the oh female God. equivalent of Jody? Jolene? He fucking with Jolene. <laughs> Jolene, Jolene was creeping around the window as soon as this nigga went to uh, uh, the psycho. They you want to see the you want to see the text? Yeah, fuck it. Let's see him. See if it look like a tribe tea. <laughs> Oh, um, and yes, you can make the screen black on the fake text app, too. I personally don't do it, but you can. The crazy thing about it, Nadja, it doesn't even have to be fake. It could be just not her. Like, That's what, what I'm saying. What the fuck? What did they do? Prove to the blog that it was like, I'm so confused. And then this should also let you know, she over here trying to be triggering. Like, good morning, Barb's. So like, bro, do you really? And then your mental health. Are you even in a space to go at this fandom right now, bro? You know, it's really Not crazy, smart. too. Back in the day, they used to just leak a nigga phone number. That's yeah, how you know right? if it was true. Mm-hmm. They were like, F it, bro. Sue me. Fuck it. Call them. Like, it's not yeah, your phone number. Go see. Not, and then somebody would have commented, yeah, nah, that was, bro. I called him, bro. He picked up. He said, James called me with Nikki's old manager of 11 years and said he was being unfair, asking for too much, which is what everyone's been telling me. 
but it's hard to negotiate with her because she doesn't let people talk like lawyers or anybody. Blah, blah, blah. So basically all you're showing is that she just doesn't agree with Nikki and how she do business. Hopefully we're about to put out another record in June for the Barbie soundtrack, which is an opportunity I brought her because Barbie asked me to do it alone. But since that's her brand, I invited her. And she doesn't even see that as me bringing her something. Well, Buki, <laughs> she's kind of like... like my mom, <laughs> ungrateful and delusional. So I'm going to say something real quick. I'm going to shake the table. Um, The texting styles look exactly the same. When I make my thumbnails, I purposely make it look like two different people texting each other. She did, She got lazy as fuck. It looks the uh, cadence is the same. The punctuation is the same. The uh, it's all lowercase. I don't know. She did the reply shit though. She went above and beyond. That's why I feel like she just got two phones and then like. I know, but I'm just saying. Regardless of how she did it, this is the same person. Like this is the same person. Like it's like you know how you look at someone's handwriting Mm. and like look at certain bubbles. I get. Look at how she's texting. It's all lowercase. Oh, you're looking at the actual the actual text. This is the same person texting themselves, bro. Talking about calling people delusional, like. Baby need help, and her husband ain't shit. Because how? Why is this happening? Yeah, bro. There's this is there's either a few things happening. It's either that's bad. A, she's crashing out, and her husband ain't shit, and he's not helping. Or B, she's on a five year. I need to get famous quick plan, and this is like her last hoorah to get 30 on. Thirty days. Thirty. Because days. I I just don't believe. I don't know. Even the first picture she showed with her Ice Spice look photoshopped as hell. That shit looked like a um, TMZ photo. It just Photoshop's pretty good now. Yeah, I know. There was a photo. I had a zipper on a shirt. And now it's gone. That bitch was gone. <laughs> the zipper off the shirt, nigga. Y'all, please look after your strong friends. Please. Just, man, I don't even know. That shit is just wild. I got you. Please stop doing just anything to get attention, bro. That too. It, this shit will drive you drug. fucking nuts. Look at this nigga. She she got driven nuts. Drove her nuts. A hell of a drug. Damn, that's, that is her dancing in the graveyard, bro. You said Azalea Banks has something to do with this shit. Oh, I forgot about that. She called out Azalea Banks. And Azalea Banks pretty much put her in her place. Dance with the devil, bitch. <laughs> she just made a tweet. She didn't call her by name. But she was like, here, let me see That's if I can crazy. Find it. You don't even got to call that bit by name. She and you just know. Damn. Like. Yeah, you can't be in NYC with the um, the alt fucking outfit on, rapping, be black. Somebody said, Baby Stormy is basically the Dark. new age Isalia Banks, which is a wild statement. And then she responded, Oh, I'll be addressing Isalia too. And when that day comes, she will run. Witchcraft won't save her. Like, are you okay, bro? Like, sound like me. Are you okay? <laughs> Crashing out. That's crazy. Like, what the hell? Hope it's worth it, though. She said, This is what Azalea Banks said, y'all. Clutch your pearls, bro. <laughs> I was about to say, sometimes I'll lose my wallet, and I know it's because I was talking shit about Azalea Banks that one time. Like, fuck. Azalea Banks said, Bitch, address your little gay husband and then musty ass synthetic braids. Don't get your arm cut up trying to reach up this high, crack baby. Why did you call her a crack baby, Azalea? <laughs> like, who even calls somebody a crack baby no more? That shit was the, your arms are too short to box with God. No, for real. She said, don't your get your arm cut, cut off up. trying to reach up this high. Yeah, your arms are too short to box with God. That was some poetic shit. <laughs> <laughs> man look like a, a renaissance fucking because that's what they do like that renaissance yeah right? look like a renaissance mm-hmm. <gasps> damn. damn crack baby a crack baby <laughs> is wild i haven't heard nobody get called a crack baby in like 15 years born <laughs> in the 80s crack baby like what is going on oh, was, bro so guess who raised me? let the us streets. know in the comments do you think that oh girl is having a mental episode or do you really think she is kicking it with ice spice apparently 
Okay. Saying Ice Spice is colorist. Oh, yeah, that too. Yeah, 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 yeah. What y'all think? What y'all think? <laughs>